Okay, I really want to attempt to make some kind of bustier corset top peplum something, but I want to try to make it reversible. All you can see is my hands right now. This is very strange. So a very long time ago, I had made a pattern doing that like duct tape trick where you put on an old t-shirt and you wrap yourself in duct tape, cut yourself out of the old t-shirt and use it as a pattern. I'll link my old video down below, but lots of people have done it. I'm going to reuse this one that I have. It's not exactly the shape that I need, but we're gonna see what happens. So these are the two back pieces. I don't need them right now. So I'm gonna make the front, I'm gonna attempt to. And I just have this piece of paper, like it came from a roll that I had found, I don't even know where, but I'm gonna use it for my pattern. So I guess the first thing I need to do is make sure that I measure how long I want the top to be. All right. Oh, I love having my camera here at this angle. <laughs> Lots of what I do is guesstimating. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this. I think this is about where the top goes. Uh, God, there is probably a better way to do this, but I'm too lazy to find out. So I want it to kind of come to maybe just just at the point where I am the narrowest. So about nine inches. So I'll draw it for about, I'll draw it about nine and a half inches just to give myself some extra. This thing isn't even. Do you see that? When I was making this for myself a long time ago, it was not even. So I think I'm only gonna draw half of it, fold it in half to make the rest of the pattern because then it will be even. I think my boobs are small. I don't remember what size I was when I did this. It's probably not gonna fit. Oh God, whatever. All right, put a middle point there. Wait a second. Uh. I just realized in one of my sketches, I had it without a peplum. Oh wow, that changed the, the freaking. wow, that's weird. Okay, anyway, I'll show it up close. I drew one of them without the peplum or reversible and I put a little corset on the back, but I kind of want the peplum. So now I don't know what I want to do because if I have the peplum, I either have to have maybe a zipper on the side to get in and out of it, or I need to have a corset in the front. What do I want to do? Let's, let's start this over. If I just do like down the front, that's gonna look weird, isn't it? I'm confused. Maybe we won't do peplum. Scratch the peplum. And we'll do this down the back. Man, I'm still not sure because if I knew how to do a zipper, I could just do the, the back with a zipper all the way down the peplum. But I don't know how to do that. So how else could I attach this? I'm gonna have to go look up some pictures and stuff. I've decided I'm gonna have the best of both worlds. What I'm gonna do is just leave the back of the peplum open so it's gonna be two separate pieces in the back. And they'll connect in the middle at the corset. And a little bow right there. And every, oh God, you can't even see what I was drawing. Anyway, two separate pieces and they'll just connect at the corset and it'll be fine. Back to my drawing here. Midpoint down to about nine and a half inches. I don't quite want this to be as curved, but first we'll draw. There we go. Bloop. And then I need to meet up these two pieces because this is the same height and they need to meet there. Oops, too close. Down to nine inches. And that's gonna come down this way down the back. 
I'm just gonna guesstimate. Whatever. This is good. Bloop. All right. Connect. It's the next day, but you don't know that. <laughs> I need to cut these out because I didn't do them far enough over to make the back piece. So I have to cut these out, shift over my paper, whatever. You guys don't care. <laughs> There's a spider. Right there. Oh my god. Okay. I got it. I got Oh, how do I? Oh, I don't have a cup or anything. Fuck! Where did he even come from? Why you gotta come in my house like that? Ugh! Okay, just... Go this way. Go. No, wrong way, sir. I don't wanna hurt your legs. This way! This way. Okay. Okay. I got this. I need a lid. Come on. This way. <gasps> Don't you dare come out. Oh god, okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. We got him, we got him. Okay, any more? Any more spiders hanging out in my stuff? Eh, okay. We're good. Side piece with what I think <laughs> is a back piece because everything is messed up now. That's an armpit hole, I can tell. So this has to be the back side. Side, middle back. Anyway. Dun, dun. I'm gonna let this part actually be longer until I'm actually fitting it on my body because I don't know what size I was when I made this thing, so. We're just gonna make one long piece. Back. Bam. This is what I drew out for all my pattern thingies. Um, because I'm gonna need a front and back, but I need to make the pattern for the peplum pieces. So I want them to be as long as, so like if this is the middle of my stomach here, like my belly button is like right there. I want the peplum thing to come out from there, which is the length of this, and then meet up in the back. So at least this length, and then I might gather it, but I'm not sure. And again, I don't know how long this back piece is gonna be until I fit it to my body. So I think I'm just gonna make one long piece, maybe like, let's move this over. Maybe to like here. And then I'm gonna extend them out this way. Shorter in the front, longer on the back side, so that we get this shape. Shorter in the front, longer in the back. And then it will, when it's sewn on, it will get that nice uh, peplumy effect, whatever. This, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Anyway, paper, I need paper, paper, paper. Okay, this length, good. Just gonna come out. I don't know how long I want it, <laughs> but I know I want the back side to be as long as possible which is the edge of this paper. I should have made it bigger. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, all the way to the edge of the paper. Uh, and give it a nice... That's good. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then I just have to connect those. Perfect. You know what I just realized I did? I didn't extend it past the thingy, the waist for gathering, so. Oh well, hopefully this works. 
All right. This is gonna be easier when it's fabric. This looks really long. Oh no, it does meet up in the right spot though. My back, in the middle of my front. This this could be good. I think this is gonna work out, and it's gonna like stick out all curvy like. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so, I know this looks weird, but hear me out. Uh, I have this kind of like upholstery probably fabric that's very thick. I feel like it will give a nice like structure to the bodice, I don't know. But I also have this and I have this, which is like this, you know, nice fake velvet, whatever, thin, pretty thin. Um, at first I was gonna make it reversible just these two fabrics. I thought that would be kind of cool, contrasty. I don't know, but I don't think I'll have enough of this to make the peplum and the bodice, so what I'm gonna do is make one side this, the other side the velvet, and then have the peplum this and the straps out of this. I'm gonna try to make straps with it. And I'm gonna try to just leave the hem the way it is, like not have to hem it. I'm just gonna cut the peplum out of this and because it's it's not exactly reversible, but it doesn't look bad when you flip it. So I don't know because I was gonna have to double up on everything, but I might not have to and I might have extra to do something else with it. This is just a dress that I have that I never wear because this doesn't look flattering on me and my arms are like the biggest thing on my body. So I just don't have room. Anyway, I could probably cut it off and just use it as a top later or use this on a different thing. So anyway, I never wear the dress, so I'm gonna chop it up. I should iron this before I do anything, but we all know I'm too lazy for that, so. I'm just gonna go in. Hmm. I don't know how much seam allowance I should give myself. I'll give myself the section between the diamonds. That's what I'll do. Of seam allowance. There we go. I just realized I can do a fun little thing and cut this on the fold so my, my pieces get really even. So, where's the middle here? Good stuff, fold it. And then I can just cut them out this way and get both sides. Boom, boom, done. Perfect, beautiful. Now I gotta do the same thing with that color. Another, I should have ironed this moment, but I don't care. What I'm gonna do is just extend my two end lines so that I can make use of this seam, this hem, because I don't like to hem things. It's gonna be crooked. It, that's fine, right? Like it would be nice if the waist met on this line, but I really don't feel like hemming, oh God. What do I want to do here, guys? I'm weird and wonky. My outfits can be weird and wonky. So let's do this. Flatten you out. Use my cup here. And I still need extra fabric for the straps. Hopefully this is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no turning back now. 
cut them out. So now the only things I'm gonna have to hem are these edges on the back. And I don't have to make two of each of them because while it technically does have a front and a back, I don't think you can tell that much unless you're looking like real close at this terrible sewing job at wherever I bought this from. I think it was Zaful. Um, yeah. It's not laying exactly cute like a peplum. It could just be because it's sticking. I really don't know. It looks fine. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. I'm, I'm fine. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna pin the pieces together and see how they fit and then make adjustments because of this kind of stuff. Clearly, I don't know how to cut, but whatever. Okay, I should probably put on a bra to try this on, but um, I'm not gonna. I'm starting to think I actually was a little bit bigger when I first made this pattern. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see. It's impossible to do on myself like this. Okay. I think I need to make the booby part come in more because my boobies aren't as big as they were. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Two pieces together. I don't have the flexibility for this. Eh. I'm gonna like put a dot right there. Okay. Did that work? Yes, it did. Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna trim that a little bit shorter and I'm also going to adjust the curve on the tatas. That was my dot. And I'm actually gonna bring it in a little bit smaller than my dot because there's gonna be the, the corset lacing. So maybe right about here, let's go for it. And then I have to do the same thing on the black pieces. And also I gotta take this apart to do the boobies. This is the front piece still attached to the side pieces. I'm just gonna bring them both together and cut them at the same time. Probably a bad idea. Are they even? Even enough. And... I'll just pull one of these. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> Ugh, if not, I'll just tie it tighter. I don't know. I'm gonna really quickly just hem the edges of these pieces before I get to work putting together anything else. Now that I have shortened the waistband of the bodice, this is actually longer than it should be now, which is perfect because it'll give me room to just gather it just the tiniest bit, maybe in a few spots, so that it'll get more of that flowy, peplumy feel. But anyway, focus. Hem these first. Does anybody else use a hair straightener as an iron when they're too lazy to use their actual iron. <laughs> uh, I can't be the only one that does this. It just makes things so much easier. And you know, for these little tiny things, just bam, you know, done. Lovely how messy that is. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. So I think I can use the machine to put one long, um, like a wide, I don't know what the stitches are called, but I'm gonna make the stitch wider than these and I'm gonna just put it all along this top here and see if I can pull the ends to gather it a tiny bit. Then I'll get ready to put together the bodice. I don't know how to explain what I'm talking about. So, this is the top part that will sit on the waistband. Does that make sense? And I'm just going to add a stitch that I can gather together a tiny bit. That made more sense. Moving on. Okie dokie. Pull on one of them. Is it working? It's working. And I just want to do it a little bit because I don't actually know how long I need it 
to fit on the bodice. So just the tiniest bit. Oh, I think it's gonna be cute. It's time to pin it all back together and sew it. I'm gonna sew the green part of the bodice and then the black part of the bodice and then rewire my brain to think about how the hell I'm putting this together because I can't remember. Just going to sew all of these seams. Aw, oh, man. My bobbin ran out of thread. I hate loading those. Ah, good to go. Oh, Jesus. Don't do that. Okay, everything's good. Wait a second. Why? Why is this happening? It's not grabbing the thread. Okay, let's try this again. You will obey me, sewing machine. Do as I ask you. Do as I command. Finally, beauty, all right. Okay. <sighs> Why didn't you guys tell me? Why didn't you guys tell me not to make the boobs rounder? I put on a bra. I'm gonna have to make this bitch real tight to, to freaking. Oh God, Ooh, it's fine, just, oh, you'll figure it out. Get it, get it on there. Okay. So, it's something. It's a little uh, weird, but it's something. I think it's gonna be acceptable looking. <laughs> Kinda derpy, but we're getting somewhere. But why didn't you guys tell me not to make the boobs so round? Cause now it's like they've come in more in the, oh God, they just look so weird. And I have no idea how to fix that. <sighs> it's fine, I don't care. <laughs> this one, this one, you can't really see it because of the way the material is. This would actually be really cute as just part of a dress. Maybe I'll make a dress next. Why not? See, this This fabric is a little more forgiving. You know, like, it looks, looks good. Uh, uh. I think I actually sewed this back piece upside down because it's so much more slanted than the other side, but whatever. <laughs> Make sure you mark your pieces, people. So the next step is to right sides, right, right sides facing together. So just the top. Why? Because when we close up the bottom, we're gonna be adding in the peplum thingy. This is when my lack of skill is really gonna shine. So I most definitely did so one or of the other of these backwards because the seam is not meeting up. Every other one met up properly. Um, I don't even know how to fix this. I might just leave it just because I'm lazy, but that won't make for good content. What if I re-sew that section? Yeah, okay, what I'm gonna do is just add another little stitch right there, just stitch it up just a little bit so that the seam We'll meet. Hopefully that works. Let me just pin it to match. This doesn't make any sense, but if I do that, the seam will be right there. And yeah, that'll work. Okay, one of these is upside down. It's fine. That worked. We're almost completely perfectly matched up, but I don't wanna redo it again and mess up even more. So we're just gonna go with it. It's slightly off. I don't care. I just want to finish. Oh, that was awful. Now, before we turn it right side out, we need to 
move the top piece and stick inside the peplum part. This is hard to explain. The shorter end needs to match up with the edge of the center bodice piece. And then you bring this piece back up, match up that center bodice, stitch all three of them together so that when we turn it inside out, there's nice seams. Hopefully that makes sense. First, I want to make sure that they match in length. I sort of got it put together the right way, hopefully. Time to sew up the bottom. Make sure you leave the ends open because this is where we're gonna turn it right side out. This is the make or break point. Let's see what happened. Turn it right side out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, we might be freaking cute. I don't know. Ooh, they're like little fish fins. I don't even, oh. Okay, it's not perfect, but I did something, you know? And some of the spots I didn't sew perfectly in the thing. So you can see the other stitches. Not perfect, but we got a little bustier with the little fish fins. If I weren't lazy, I would also top stitch. I might still do it later, but we, we will see how I'm feeling. Okay, I think I can work with this. It's, it's not the best thing on the planet, but like... I'll wear it, you know? This side is so much more forgiving. Look at how cute. Can you believe I did that? Oh, it's not even done. It's not even done. I have decided I am going to attempt to top stitch. I don't know, this is a terrible idea because I can't stretch, stretch? I can't stitch straight. Uh, screw it, just go for it. It's not going too bad so far. Look at that. It looks kind of even. Oh, that's lovely. I did that. It's kind of wonky in some spots, but wow, proud of myself. So I cut the, the rest of the skirt off from the top of the dress and now it's kind of a cute little top, you know, if I could ever put it on, um, probably won't. I was gonna take these straps off, but then I realized um, because I want to add, uh, what are they called? I wanna add these. Why can't it, eyelets, that's what they're called. I wanna put those through the fabric on for the straps and for the uh, corset part because I wanna add those in. These straps won't work, they probably won't be long enough to one, tie through the holes and then tie over the shoulders because I want bows. So what I'm gonna do is try to make some straps out of the leftover material I have here from the skirt. I'm just gonna cut out strips as long as I can, even if I have to go through a seam.
That is amazing. I just stuck a piece of string onto a safety pin, stuck it into a straw, and then stuck the strap on the straw, and then uh, attached the end of the safety pin to the other end, pulled it through, and it turned it right side out. Oh my god. I finished making the straps. I'm not gonna, uh, what's it called? I'm not gonna finish the ends of them yet because I don't know exactly how long I want them and I might leave them super long so the bows are nice and big. But before I can put those on, I need to do the backside. So I bought this little kit on Amazon. If I can find the link for it, I'll put it in the description box. It's just a tool when mine's kind of dull and messed up at this point. I have a feeling I'm not even gonna be able to cut the holes the way I need to. But uh, it's a little tool, you cut the holes, you stick these in and uh, you use a hammer and the little thingy to press the eyelets into it. Scratch everything I just said because I completely forgot that I have to close this up first. <laughs> what I should have done when I was hemming the top of the bodice was folded this under and continued the stitch all the way around to close up this side. So the back sides of the bodice, I mean. So uh, if I can figure this out, fold both sides in if I can. This is difficult because the fabrics are two different materials. Anyway, um, and stitch along the sides and then I will add the eyelets to, yeah, okay, you guys get it, cool beans. This side of the back came out perfect, no problems, got the stitch done. This side, however, what is that? What, why, why did this, I, I don't care though, I'm not fixing it. My tool is actually too dull and I don't have what I need in order to sharpen it, so I can't do that. I think I'm gonna attempt to just like use tiny scissors and just stab holes in it and stuff until I can get the eyelets through it. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, so it didn't come out the prettiest on this side. Um, I think I kind of smashed it too hard, but this side looks great. So reversible, but wonky. I have decided to go ahead and top stitch the bottom part next to the peplum, not just the top. Um, I don't need to be lazy, you know? I can do this. It's a little difficult to get through some of the thingies because um, I don't know that much about my sewing machine, but I'm doing it, okay? We're finishing it, we're making it beautiful. Also, I got one side of the, uh, the eyelets done, but I can't do the rest because I'm pretty sure my neighbors are tired of hearing me use a dumbbell to hammer those in. Anywho. <laughs> Turn down your noises. What noise? It's fine. Wow. My husband is playing a video game, so you'll have to excuse him. <laughs> no, it's fine. I put the two strappy strappy holes in the back so that I can put the top on and measure exactly where I want them to meet in the front. And then I have this ribbon to put through the corset part. And then I get to dry it on. This is not the best lace to be using. This is not, this is not uh, doing what I ask it to do. Okay, I put it on. That was an ordeal, cause I can't, I can't do this by myself. But now all I have to do is figure out where I want the strap. Probably somewhere around there. So, got the straps on. Now all that's left, ugh is to tie them where they need to be tied. And then it's done. Sadly, turns out the straps aren't long enough to make in cute bows. I'm also finding that for some reason this part like sticks out. It won't sit flat. Even if I make the back really tight, like at the bottom, it doesn't stay. So I just, 
left it comfortable the way it was. I don't know. It's kind of cute. The peplum isn't, uh, I need to wear different pants. The peplum isn't as cute as I had hoped because I just didn't have enough material. But I did it a thing. It's, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was super long. I did it more vlog style because I just didn't want to have to do a voiceover after. You know, because I don't know exactly what I was doing the whole time, so it was easier for me to just talk through my process than to try to make it a full outlined tutorial thingy. Hopefully, it was still enjoyable, even though it was a very, very, very long video. <laughs> anyway, do me a favor and leave a like and a comment and a subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!